Some question his judgment. Everybody says, yeah, it's crazy. You know, you're just absolutely insane. My mother, ah, don't do that, get rid of it. But Christopher Kohut knows what he wants. I like to do things as my friends say, a little bit larger than most people. He's outside what will soon be his new home, the old Winkler Elementary School outside Niles. The 60-year-old school doesn't look like much from outside, but inside... This was the library, the room we're in now, which I like to call the wine cellar. It's extravagant. When he moves in this summer, it'll have eight bedrooms, eight bathrooms, and a full-size gym for his daughters, Josefina and Angelina, to play in. Everyone wants to come for my birthday this year and just see my house. Kohut is a restaurant consultant. He bought the building two years ago and has been working on it since. Tried to do carpentry work as a living. I just, I didn't enjoy that. You know, I just enjoy doing it at my leisure. He knew it had history. Just a quick stop at the Niles District Library, and you can see that in 1983, Brandywine School District decided to sell Winkler School to a place called Trinity Church. In the early 80s, Brandywine consolidated elementary schools, and at the time it caused some controversy. The church moved out four years ago, and Kohut bought it. That was the start of it, and now the rest of it is, you know, years to come, lots of renovations to come. And no matter how much it changes, there's no fooling what it used to be. There's still chalkboards in the kids' rooms and original library shelves in the wine cellar. A plan from the beginning to keep a lot of the elements uh, intact. Because it's a home now, but he knows it'll always be the old Winkler School.